Mikhailo Mudrik, one of Chelsea's newest players, is one of the most exciting talents in world football right now. Big European teams like league leader Arsenal were interested in this incredibly skilled player, but Chelsea were able to beat them to get his signature. Mikhailo Mudrik of Shakhtar Donetsk was acquired by Chelsea ahead of Arsenal for £88.5 million on an eight-and-a-half-year contract. The Ukraine international has been labelled the best in Europe in his position, behind Kylian Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. Will Mikhailo Mudrik develop into such a world-class player? Will he be able to live up to the hype, or will he fall short, like Darwin Nunez? Stay tuned to learn why Mudrik was signed for a huge fee and how he could potentially go down in history along with the likes of Messi and Ronaldo. Mudrik had a transfer value of less than £1 million at the beginning of the previous season and was unknown outside of Ukraine. Fast forward to today, and he is currently one of Europe's most sought-after young players. Mikhailo Mudrik has had a meteoric climb and appears to be headed for greatness. As a graduate of the Shakhtar development system, he made his senior team debut in a cup match in October 2018 before moving on loan to fellow Ukrainian team Arsenal Kyiv in March 2019, where he stayed until the summer. After some time on loan with Desna, he returned to Shakhtar to genuinely contend for a spot in the first team before the end of 2020. The 2021 campaign saw Mudrik establish himself as a regular starter, and in August of that year, he scored his first goal for the team against Mariupol, before garnering international attention in December with a four-assist performance against Lviv. When Shakhtar defeated RB Leipzig in the Champions League this past September, Mudrik bagged a goal and two assists, one of his many statement performances in his young career. How has he been able to differentiate himself and stand out on the field? Mudrik gets his energy from being creative and setting up plays for his teammates. He only started seven games in the 2021 season, but he ended up scoring two goals and providing seven assists. You have to look beyond merely the goals and assists columns to truly appreciate the type of player Mudrik is and could become. In the previous campaign, he tried more than 10 dribbles per 90 minutes and averaged 4.8 progressive passes, which was among the highest at Shakhtar. Mudrik's major advantages were evident in those games, including his speed and power when cutting inside from the left to use his stronger right foot, his quickness in transition, his ability to finish with precision, and his capacity to do so on the biggest stage during the Champions League. Mudrik is a perfect player for teams that love to play an attacking style of football. He can score goals, but his specialty lies in creating opportunities for his teammates. He can find that killer pass that can split open defences. Brentford had expressed interest in the player last summer, but a stunning rise since then, 10 goals and 8 assists across all competitions, has doubled the asking price and attracted the eye of bigger clubs. He can play on either foot and his direct running can open up games despite being an inverted winger. The Shakhtar manager sums up Mudrik's strengths for those who haven't had the pleasure of seeing him in action. He is unbelievable. He has everything and he shows it in every game. He drives left-footed. He drives right-footed. He dribbles very well. He's a good kid and he's only 21 years old. He's not worried about offers. He just wants to have fun playing football, he said. Mudrik is excellent at setting up goals, but his ability to put the ball in the back of the net on his own still has more to be desired. Mudrik's inexperience is evident in the fact that many of his shots on goal originate from poor angles, and even when he does have a good look at the goalie, the winger frequently fails to pose any meaningful threat on goal. There is reason to assume that Mudrik can eventually develop into more of a goalscorer because there isn't much fundamentally wrong with what he's been doing. In modern football, teams look for wingers who can score goals in addition to those who are skilled at creating for their strikers. If Mudrik concentrates on finishing as well as creating, he can develop into a top-tier winger. Chelsea is struggling to score goals this year, but Mudrik's speed can help him score and fix their issues. Mudrik has earned the moniker the Ukrainian Neymar, thanks to his incredible dribbling talent and fondness of using athleticism to outmuscle defenders. Although it's fairly accurate, Mudrik isn't a big lover of the moniker. He said to CBS Sports, It's not Ukrainian Neymar, it's Ukrainian Modric. This sounds better. Modric is a top player and among the all-time greats. Although the club's director wanted Mudrik to stay, Chelsea's asking price and the player's insistence on leaving allowed Shakhtar to sell him. Director of Shakhtar, Darijo Srinar, recently stated that Mudrik is one of the best players in Europe at this position, in his opinion. I don't see a third player in Europe, save Mudrik, in this position after Mbappe and Vinicius. 
Mudrik has great potential. Shakhtar is determined on maintaining its high valuation of the player. Lately, Serena stated that if someone wants to buy Mudrik, they must invest a lot of money and respect our club. Mudrik may be talented, but his attitude raises questions. Taras Stepaneko, the former captain of Shakhtar, recently remarked that sometimes he ignored what the coach said to him. Fonseca voiced his worries following a friendly victory over Karabag of Azerbaijan. His comment was, Mikhailo scored tonight, but he still has a lot to learn. I am without a doubt convinced by his skill, but first of all, he must recognise that he still has a lot of room for improvement. He needs to adjust his demeanour a little bit on the field. De Zerbi threw several Shakhtar Academy graduates into the lineup, and Mudrik more than justified his confidence. De Zerbi has played a significant role in Mudrik's growth. Despite the instability brought on by Russia's invasion of the country and the pandemic, he scored 9 goals and contributed 13 assists in 23 Ukrainian Premier League outings since his breakthrough at the start of the last season. In the Champions League, Mudrik was mostly used as a substitute during Shakhtar's group stage campaign the previous year, but he made an impression on his first start. And when he was replaced in the second half of Real Madrid's 2-1 loss at the Bernabeu, the home crowd gave him a standing ovation. It was a crucial turning point in Mudrik's ascent to fame, and this season he's maintained his stature by starting each of Shakhtar's six group games and chipping in with three goals and two assists, putting him amongst the top ten players. This season, Chelsea has gone all out with the club spending a lot of money on transfers. They signed Badi Ashil, Jao Felix on loan, Maduke, Melo Gusto and Mudrik along with a deal with Enzo Fernandez now complete. Even before the January transfer window opened, Arsenal tried to get Mudrik, but Shakhtar repeatedly rejected their offers. Eventually, Chelsea entered the negotiations and snatched the contract away from Arsenal. He's now the Blues' second most expensive transfer in club history. Arsenal had to get a winger anyhow, so they chose and acquired Trossard. The January transfer window from Chelsea was by far the best in football. Now is the moment to discover if Mudrik and their other new additions will benefit Chelsea's ailing team. Graham Potter will need to put in a lot of effort if these new additions are to succeed and help Chelsea earn a place in the Champions League. Mudrik has said, Cristiano Ronaldo is an inspiration to me because he shows what is possible with hard work and self-belief. I enjoy Cristiano's style of play and I consider myself to be a winger like him. Cristiano Ronaldo is a role model for many talented wingers, and Mudrik is no different. Mudrik already has the skill, so if he puts in the same kind of effort as Ronaldo and plays consistently, he will be a spectacular player in the future. What happens next remains to be seen, but it seems more and more likely that Mudrik, who was relatively unknown outside of Ukraine only a year ago, has a tantalizingly promising future ahead of him. If he can succeed in the toughest league in the world with a struggling team, Mudrik will garner a lot of praise. However, if he fails to perform, it could lead to the downfall of Chelsea.